class, I am going to be doing an experiment. So long. As you see, I'm right, already set up with my pencils and my instruments to make the device. So, once the flight gets started, I'm going to be doing these experiments. Hope you enjoy. Okay, make sure to go back. This is the control experiment on the ground for the pendulum. It was a total of 15.4 seconds and we swung, we had it go back and forth 20 times. Here we have a experiment with the pendulum on taxiing. The total time was 14.1 seconds. It went the exact same amount of back of swings as it did in the control. And it went in almost a circle because of the taxiing, as you can see. This is the pendulums during takeoff. They, we didn't let them swing back and forth. We just had them hang and we watched them during takeoff. Now, the short pendulum is the one I used in the control and taxiing. I did not have time to do the long pendulum because I had to hide this for the flight attendants. But the short one is 60 centimeters and the long one is about 80 centimeters. So they have a 20 centimeter difference. Now, the very interesting thing about these is they as you notice when they started out, they just would sort of hang there, almost as if a magnet was holding them there. But once we got off the ground and started really coming up, they started swinging back and forth and then eventually started going side to side. Now, we did not expect this, so it was very interesting when we saw this starting. And one of the things I also noticed is it went side to side and longer than it did go back and forth. And also the longer one is going, is swinging much more than the shorter one. So if just continue looking at the clip and you'll see what I'm talking about as you already have. This is the device. For those of you who do not know what the device is, it's, a th it's an object suspended in water and it measures acceleration. Now, the water is all bubbly because I had to do it in the lavatory sink on the plane, but really, if you look at the, if you look at the cork as it is suspended in the water, you will see the habits of the cork go because they are done by which way the plane is accelerating if it's turning. Now we are about halfway, again, halfway through our flight, and we did the pendulum. It was again 20 swings. The total time was 15.43 seconds. And you notice it didn't go in an exact back and forth, and that was because of the angle of the plane. Now, again, we hadn't started our descent. We were right in the middle of our flight. Here I'm throwing a small thing of scotch tape up and down. This is the device when we were landing. It was right when we were like right above the city, but before we hit the ground. Here we have both the pendulum and the device immediately when we hit the ground and afterwards. So we were coming down the runway. this little video I put together while my family was on a plane from Washington National to Salt Lake City. So, even if you're not in my Stanford EPGY physics class, if you, or even if you're not in a physics class, I hope you enjoyed my little video about my experiments, and I hope that you'll do your own experiments.